Welcome to CDN 107, Introduction to Digital Design. This is Julie Becker, I'll be your instructor, and I'm currently in D2L in our shell for the course. I'm gonna scroll down to, toward the bottom, and there's my picture, so you know who you're talking to. Um, my email is here, I prefer you to, to, the, to um, contact me via email first, um, and I can get back to you. That does go to my phone, so if I'm available right away, I will get right back to you. Um, my phone here is my cell number, so I do allow you to text me. Please don't take advantage of that, and I will continue to keep that as an option. Um, most times we can actually solve issues and questions with a text or two. Otherwise, I might have you send me a file, and I can take a look at it and give you instruction. And other times I will make a video uh, recording on how to continue. So I am available to you through the course. Um, contact me as you need to. All right, going into our content. Oh, I'll, let me stay here for a second. Announcements. Every week there'll be announcements that open up and in there will be some introduction information to that week. There's also going to be video links. It's very, very important that you go back to these video links. Um, at first there's a lot uh, from like YouTube going through Photoshop and whatnot, but um, as we continue through the course, there's going to be more and more videos that I create for you that pertain directly to the activity or project that you're working on. So make sure you do check the announcements and the links available to you. In the content tab, you're going to find your syllabus. So we'll go there first of all and just kind of do a kind of basic run through. Again, my information is here. We have a textbook that I am not requiring you to get. We can go a lot faster by the way I've set up this course, and therefore I'm not gonna have you, you know, even use it. So if you grab it, it's a great reference, but not necessary for this course in my class, all right? You will get an email from Adobe, I believe it comes from Adobe directly, to get your access to the Creative Cloud programs, which you're gonna be needing. So make sure you check your spam and your, you know, um, your school email address several times to make sure you do get that and access the, the contents there for the programs. Course description, you can read through. Grading policies are here. Um, I do want to get down to withdrawal dates too. So as you go through the course, if you find out that work scheduling or life scheduling occurs and you don't think you're going to pass the course, I do suggest you drop it rather or withdraw from it rather than get a failing grade because I don't want you you know to hurt your GPA so if that's the case please be aware of the midterm dates and the withdrawal dates okay um, coming down through here we do have a class schedule that we'll actually see in D2L as well not just on your syllabus okay so let's go back here let's go back to our contents and go through how this course is set up I have weekly assignments in here. So if you go to week one, everything in here is going to be completed. Discussion one, this is just about you, gives everybody a, you know some um, time to get to know who's in the course. Orientation survey, this is again um, easy to do. You can just click on the link and it'll take you right to it. All right, go back to content. Okay, and your first activity. Here's 1.1, file formats, you've got a presentation about it, and then you've got some, uh, a PDF to view also to complete the, I believe there's five questions in here. So please go through all of this. You have to have a quick quiz on here also, and again, it's not meant to be difficult, just to give you a basic overview of some of the content we're gonna go over. It's important to kind of go through the programs, okay? Let's go to week two. So in week two, I'll skip this first one, but every week's going to be set up this, the following. So you have an activity 2.1, instructions. 2.1, this image needs to be downloaded to use for the activity. So it's a PSD file you're going to use. Then you're going to have samples. So for most everything, like this next one, 2.2, cat first selection. You have instructions, you have a file, and you have samples. So if I look at the samples, it goes through, what you're doing is you're taking some cats out of a background, out of a photo, eliminating the background, 
and putting a new background in here. And this is kind of, it gets a little difficult, but the program is getting easier to use. So you're trying to get rid of the blue background. You see a little bit of halo around here, but the activities are just meant to give you a good idea of how to get through um, the use of different tools, okay? So you can see the example. So I do provide examples for everything that we do in here. Back to week two, all right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five weeks in Photoshop, about the same in Illustrator, and also in Design. And Design goes really quick though. Um, so just assuming it here, let's go to Illustrator. Again, you have one assignment this week, Pen Tool, Instructions, an AI file to, for the activity. And then you have Samples, again, to view. You have an individual post, and this time we have a Magritte, uh, Magritte critique. The critiques um, will occur in our discussions, so we can kind of go through that too. I do want to kind of go through all this first. Let's go to week 16 in design because I want to show you what you're going to be doing for your final project and kind of get an overview of what you're going to be producing through the entire semester here. So if I go to my trifold completed samples, we'll just look at the first one, okay? So you're going through Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign, all right? File specifications is actually information from the first week. We have some, a set of three, um, a series of three ads that we do for floral ads. Here's the cats that was produced. In Illustrator, you're gonna create a train logo. You're gonna create a panda and a frog illustration. This should look identical. These will look a little different and this should be completely creative on your own. This one's kind of hard to do. This is a Magritte, um, Magritte I should say, um, reference that we're recreating with found objects, found images on the internet. This is kind of hard to do. We've got a postcard for WWF, World, World Wildlife Federation. We have a eight page menu we're gonna produce in InDesign as well as two, um, two advertisements for um, a travel destination. So again, Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, and you can go through here too and look at the more of the samples because everybody's a little bit different. Okay, but I'll let you go ahead and go through that. Let's go back to table of contents. Again, everything is gonna be divided by weeks, okay? Let me go to Photoshop three because I did say something about individual posts. So if I click on post number two, it's gonna take us to our discussions and our posts. And some of these are just very, very simple. Post your thoughts on the week's activities. I do really wanna hear more than, oh, it was fun, oh, I had our time. I wanna understand what was easy, what was hard, so I can you know, always modify the class if I need to, but I really do want your input on what happens here. Let's actually go to our discussions. We've seen content, discussions, we have orientation, all right, just again, about you. Then we have a module for Photoshop. We have an open forum where you can ask questions with each other, um, help each other out, provide links to videos that you like to watch that helps you out, whatever, this is, this is your area, okay? Um, student work activities, I'll be uploading some things here so you can see everybody's work. Not that we have to critique them, but it's nice to see what everybody else is doing. Um, and then we do have a few critiques for the programs. This is for the project, the floral ad project, and then you'll also have one for Magritte. Um, and I kind of give you a good guideline of what to do, okay? Down here too, I also give an example of a poor critique and, and, a, and a good one. So you kind of have an understanding of what's expected, okay? Now these modules or these discussions, I'm sorry, I should say, if you're done with orientation after the first week or two, you can click it and you can collapse it so it kind of gets out of your way. So Photoshop's done, collapse it, and you can get to the individual posts, okay? And this one, I actually have to expand so I can see them. There's one, there's 10 of them, all right? So we've got the main screen, we've got content, discussions, all your assignments are gonna be uploaded here. Just click in here and submit the file or files. Um, quizzes, there are three quizzes. Again, they're not meant to be difficult. I'm hoping they're just to kind of explain, make sure you understand a few basic terms or whatnot of the programs. Grades, everything will be in here. I will post everything. 
usually within two days, but projects do take a lot longer. And again, life happens, so it might be an extra day or two here and there. Um, and your class list. So that'll kind of take you through the program. And I hope you enjoy what you're doing. It can, it can be a little overwhelming sometimes if you've not used these programs before, but it's amazing. amazing. And I think a lot of students are amazed what they produce from the first day in a program where they're confused, don't know how to do something, especially Illustrator, when you first start with a pen tool, it can be really difficult, but by the time you get to the frog, you're like, wow, that wasn't so bad, and look what I can do. So I do hope you enjoy the course and get in touch when you need to. I'd be happy to hear from you.